Hi folks, this is Karim Rao for Ati Visual Adjur channel. We will continue our lab, the Red Alert Labs, the video number 86. We have been discussing in the previous video the following. Uh, this will be the last video in the series of the Red Alert Lab. Uh, and hope it was a very useful uh, series and all of you have benefit from it. So we have discussed in the previous video the last part uh, from uh, configuring the app locker uh, feature which will be implemented in a Microsoft environment through the group policy. So the app locker, it is a feature that is applied in your uh, Microsoft network environment using uh, the group policy. It is something to control what the user uh, or what the applications the user will use on his PC. So you can control the applications that the user can open and run uh, through the app locker and we have discussed how we can uh, use this feature and we have a very good documentation from the national security agency and the central security service of the united states we have discussed this for three videos and you have finished this topic and today this is the final uh, video in the series and we will talk about uh, a useful program which is called scap this is a program uh, for uh, scanning for vulnerabilities on different programs and softwares these are uh, this utility is provided by the Department of Defense of the United States uh, I will show you all how we can use it to scan for different vulnerabilities for different programs and operating systems and how we can after scanning uh, the vulnerabilities in different programs and uh, operating system we can get a report with the uh, vulnerabilities and then we can uh, rectify this uh, vulnerabilities and have a professional report that we can after that present to our uh, IT department or our owner or our CEO or C uh, or the owner of the of your company or your organization so let's see how we can get this program first of all you can get uh, everything related to uh, the Department of Defense from this website okay and for example you can get uh, different uh, different documentations f or different recommendations <coughs> for securing different operating systems and applications from this library so this library contains a lot of things you can hear for example you are uh, here I am just uh, filtering to get only the Windows uh, security uh, technical uh, recommendations for example here we can see that Windows 11 recommendations uh, to secure it have been already released from the Department of Defense so you can use it to secure a Windows 11 environment and you can get a lot of uh, recommendations not only for the or the operating systems but you can get a lot of things you can get uh, for the Adobe Reader for the browsers this is a lot of things you can get for Linux uh, Linux do, uh, Linux operating system so this here you can get the uh, the documentation or the PDFs to secure your different uh, operating systems and applications and there is a software we have used before something called STIG viewing tool this is a tool that you can use to uh, browse the documentation or the PDFs or the documentations of the Department of Defense in an organized way because these documentations are in HTML format or it's in XML format so you can view uh, different uh, 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 recommendations in this viewer which is very organized and I will show you all uh, how we can use it I have discussed this in a previous video but I will say that again so this is a tool that we can use to browse different uh, uh, Department of Defense uh, security technical recommendations and uh, to implement this uh, uh, or different technical uh, security recommendations from the Department of Defense some of these recommendations are in or can be applied using a group policy so here is giving you a ready-made group policy so you can import it directly these are a group of group policies that you can import directly to your environment and begin working with it uh, instantly you do not have to configure group policies manually so this is also a good thing to know and we, I have uh, discussed this before how we can import 
this group policy to our group policy management console and the last thing we need to discuss this video something called SCAP or it is called in technical terms security content automation protocol so this is a program that we will use to scan vulnerabilities in different softwares and programs using the Department of Defense uh, security recommendations so for example here we can see that these are different uh, files that we will use through this program to scan for vulnerabilities in uh, in different operating systems and application I will show you uh, how we will do this but here for example this is the software here is the software this is the SCAP tools and then this is the files that we we'll use in the SCAP tools every one of these files uh, will scan for a vulnerability for in in a specific software so for example this SCAP content for example will scan for uh, vulnerabilities in Windows 11 and this is will scan for vulnerabilities in Windows 10 and this for uh, window, uh, Internet Explorer uh, 11 so this is all and this is one for the age so these files we will use it with the program so where is the program the program has different versions to work with different operating systems so let's get to the one that we need the one for the Windows this is the one okay so we'll download this file and we'll set up the program and then what we will do we will go and get one of these files and import it in the program or the SCAP program so we scan so we can scan for different vulnerabilities for different programs so uh, let's uh, have a scenario so let for example I need to scan vulnerability in my Chrome uh, browser and I need to get a detailed report about these vulnerabilities and uh, get a professional or or publish a professional audit report so let's audit report so let's see how we can do this so for example uh, here is the program so let's close all of this here is the program which is the SCAP compliance auditor we will run it and I will show you all how we can scan for for example vulnerabilities in my Chrome browser so here I have the program and then I need after opening it to import the SCAP content related to the scanning the vulnerabilities for the Chrome okay I have shown you all how we can download uh, the files but let me show you again after opening the program uh, where we can do this so it will take a little bit of time So here he is checking the content and he's refreshing the content now you can see that he is telling you which uh, program that you need to scan vulnerabilities so for example you can here tell him to scan vulnerabilities on the Chrome okay Chrome current Windows so he will scan my Chrome on my current Windows operating system so you can choose you can have the Windows 11 you can have a lot of things so tell him to refresh Here he will get uh, the uh, the SCAP content automatically, or you can import it. Tell him, for example, to install or to get the content. Let me show you also. Here you can choose it, or you can download it from the website. So you can download it from the website and then import it here. So, for example, let's choose uh, uh, Chrome current Windows and tell him to install. Okay so here I'm installing uh, what is telling here select content to install validate okay so here uh, there is the contents you can install or you can tell him to choose one of the contents to work with for example for the Chrome or for whatsoever but here I have already uh, I have already all of this I have already installed it before so what you need to do you need to choose this and then to him install he will download the file from the DOD Department of Defense website and then you can work with it so for example let's tell him to start the scan so here will begin scanning my local PC and then he will begin collecting data processing data okay and then he is getting a lot of results okay so now he have already scanned my browser okay and he will get 
or we need to view the results so here now he have already scanned uh, my uh, browser let's see the results so here for example here will tell us that the report so he has scanned my I have scanned it before but and, and this is different times I have scanned it so I have scanned it today and then here is the HTML result so let's see this is the one by uh, the result of today I think let's see this is HTML uh, this is for today okay I think let me get the report okay so this is the report but I need to to see if this is the one uh, today or not okay so this is the HTML file let's open it and see so here this is an HTML file here he's giving you a score so you say adjust the score so he say that you only passed 2.56 percent of the recommendations of the Department of Defense you have failed in 38 recommendations you didn't apply 38 recommendations here let's open and see the results so for example here he is giving you some uh, information about your PC so this is one of the things and then for example you have 8 gigabyte of RAM you have this is the PC name and this is the uh, operating system and some info about your PC content here what he's talking about he's talking about uh, scanning your Chrome okay the security implementation is published as a tool to improve the security of the Department of Defense information system systems anyway so he is scanning for vulnerabilities in the Chrome here let's see for example these are the recommendations so the Department of Defense have recommendations in numbers here is saying that for example fire war uh, traversal from remote host must be disabled okay uh, site tracking users location must be disabled so these are all of the recommendations that should be disabled or enabled so you have about 38 recommendation you should you should uh, disable or enable okay the default search browsers must be uh, implemented so let's for example take the first one here if you click on it he will give you the description okay of the recommendation so he's saying that for example let me get another one a simple one so if you go to for example uh, uh, let's go to the default search browsers so he is saying for example this is the recommendation he is saying that specify the name the default search browser that uh, the default search provider that is to be used is left empty or not set the host specified by the search will be used the policy is considered so here you should uh, provide uh, a default search provider that your browser will use and this browser uh, search pr provider should uh, be secure so he's saying that you can work with it fix it through the group policy and this is the, sev the severity uh, it is medium so it's uh, important or it's critical or it's severity to be medium so you should take care because this is very important and he is saying that uh, this is the uh, some data anyway and get you how to do it so this is one of the things so for example we can see here that he is giving you a lot of uh, data you can use to uh, work with or to scan the vulnerabilities of the uh, Chrome so after I have known what are my, uh, uh, my my bugs or my vulnerabilities in my browser I need to go and then open so we will close uh, this and then I should go so I have known this I have already known uh, or scanned my vulnerabilities so I can then go to my uh, STIG viewer I have used this program before and then begin working so here I have already uh, the, the 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 one concerning or scanning the vulnerability and this is the report and this or this is the technical PDF so the first program have scanned for the vulnerability and these are the PDF provided by the Department of Defense so these are the vulnerabilities that should be or this is are the documentation okay and these are the things that you failed in some of them so the first program used uh, the uh, 
technical uh, PDF of the Department of Defense and he tell you which part of the PDF you didn't apply. So this is another program. These are all of the uh, documentation or and, and you can see it here. It is provided in a, a very useful or a very uh, organized way. You can make a checklist after that. You can tell him to create a checklist and then you can check or after you finish you can uh, you can after that uh, check for example if this one uh, after that for example you need to uh, uh, check one by one so you can th then right click on one of them and tell him the status it is not a finding not applicable so you can check every one of them and then at the end you can check for example not applicable and then after finishing all of these recommendations and giving them the status you can export them as a report so at the end you can get a report so let's for example see how we can export this one export data in csv file and then you can get it as an excel sheet and you see which one of these uh, recommendations you have uh, uh, rectified or you have worked it with and you can work it very easily 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 so hope this video for of you all this is the last video in the series thank you so much and have a nice day so continue without saving